the Yellowstone Super on the verge of eruption? An alarming study reveals just how close its vast magma reservoir is to the surface. It's one of the world's largest active volcanoes, officially designated a supervolcano. And if it were to erupt today, it's estimated that Yellowstone in the northwestern United States could cause a prolonged nuclear winter and global famine. Scientists are revealing whether such a catastrophic event is getting closer to actually happening. Worryingly, their new study shows that Yellowstone's magma chamber is only 2.3 miles, 3.8 kilometers, or about 12,500 feet below the Earth's surface. This marginal distance is about the same as the distance between Buckingham Palace and St. Paul's Cathedral in London. Because the volcano hasn't erupted for about 640,000 years, some experts and locals believe the next eruption is long overdue. However, the team doesn't expect an eruption to happen anytime soon. One of the most famous volcanoes on Earth, Yellowstone lies beneath a national park that spans three states, Idaho, Wyoming, and Montana. There, a magma chamber pulsates with superheated molten rock and toxic gases like sulfur dioxide, SO2, and hydrogen sulfide, H2S. Scientists have learned about the chamber's existence, but they haven't been able to pinpoint its upper limits or determine exactly what lies there. To learn more, experts used hundreds of portable and truck-mounted seismometers to create 2D images of the ground beneath the Yellowstone caldera, a bowl-shaped volcanic depression. Using artificial seismic waves, the team determined that a type of igneous rock called rhyolite forms the Yellowstone magma chamber. The chamber covers an area 55 miles by 30 miles, extending from 2.3 miles, 3.8 kilometers, below Earth's surface to 10 miles down. Beneath it lies a larger magma reservoir made of low silica basalt and containing much less molten rock. This lower reservoir lies 12 to 28 miles, 19 to 45 kilometers, below the surface and measures 11,035 cubic miles, 46,000 cubic km. Researchers were able to locate the top of the uppermost chamber and determine that 86% of the top is solid rock, with poor spaces accounting for the remaining 14%. The researchers found that these pore spaces are about half filled with molten material and the other half with gases and volatile fluids. Volatile gases like CO2 and H2O, released from magma, tend to accumulate at the top of the magma chamber due to their buoyancy. But most of the gases escape through Yellowstone surface features such as small fissures in the ground that release hot mud, known as mud volcanoes. This means the gases accumulate to dangerous levels, preventing a dangerous buildup of pressure. If there's a conduit, they can escape to the surface, said co-author Professor Fan Chi Lin, a geophysicist at the University of Utah. The Yellowstone volcano erupted violently 630,000 years ago, and many fear it is preparing to erupt again. The long dormant Yellowstone volcano is in no immediate danger of erupting, meaning such concerns are unfounded. However, the study, published in Nature, provides important clues about the structure of Yellowstone's magma body, according to its authors. 
We now understand more about the heat engine that powers Yellowstone and about how that melt is distributed, said Mike Poland. That could impact how we view volcanic hazards. Despite its potential, Yellowstone National Park's renowned volcanic activity attracts about 4 million tourists a year from around the world. One of the park's most famous geothermal features, the Old Faithful Geyser, spews a jet of boiling water every 44 to 125 minutes. Volcanic eruptions are notoriously difficult to predict, but some possible scenarios include Campi Flegri in Italy or Santorini in Greece. Researchers have previously said Ray, a region home to 360,000 people, may be on the verge of its first eruption in 485 years. <laughs>